Hello, I'm in Huawei's extended virtual reality studio in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress. And I'm joined today by Salima Blucci, who is from Do, and Stephen Zhao, who is from Huawei. Um, perhaps I can start off with you, Salim. Actually, the pandemic situation for the last two years has proven that we have uh, collectively built an infrastructure that is reliable, scalable, and flexible. And our uh, most of actually all our activities during the lockdown moved from physical world to the digital world. And that is where the telecom operators has contributed, has supported the, the, the society to maintain business continuity and continue with, the, with our life. Today, the internet is very critical infrastructure for our future. A lot of activities that we, again, daily basis, our education, our commerce activities, uh, our uh, work, actually, and, and more than that, in social interaction, everything is done over this platform. So the platform is very critical, this infrastructure, the internet infrastructure for our future. IPv6 is, the, is one of the important enabler. Of course, IPv6 has already enabled and the adaptation of IPv6 has already started. Uh, from due perspective, we are embracing the deployment of IPv6. Most of our, our network elements are already enabled to the IPv6. And we are continuing the journey of enabling IPv6 because the future as well the gap between physical world and digital world will be bridged further and, and we need more IPs for, for, for connectivity perspective. Uh, this is from generic perspective. Mm -hmm. uh, and Stephen, you've um, helped release a new book uh, which um, I think we can ha have a look at. Uh, maybe you could tell us about this SR version 6. It's a translation. Of it. what, what, why have you released it right now? I think uh, for the for the ICT technology, I think for the IP is or is very important for the infrastructure. But uh, as you know, if we want to to think about uh, in the future, IPv4 is not enough for to manage all the ICT infrastructure. So we think about how to deployment the IPv6, and also IPv6 only solve the problem of the address pool. But I think it's not enough. So we we according to some new scenarios to think about uh, how to to give his uh, IPv6 enhanced innovation. That's why we want to write this book. Yeah, these are obviously very important developments, and thank you very much for taking the time to speak to us today. Thank you. Thank you. So Salim, as CTO of Do, what is your opinion on the development of Datacom and what is the future development direction of IPv6 for Do? So Emirates Integrated Telecom Company, funded in uh, 2006, is, an, is a telecom operator in the United Arab Emirates. Do aims to provide optimum network services for customers by building high quality telecom networks. Innovation has always been our main engine of growth. In 3G and 4G market, we like, like other carriers in the world, we are facing uh, challenges uh, in different domains. And that is impacting the growth of the business. And one of the uh, challenges that, we, that is being faced in the rollout of our infrastructure are the shortage of IP addresses. With the adoption of 5G and cloud are the future de deployment uh, trends. 5G makes connectivity for everything possible and cloud computing enables digital transformation of thousands of industries and improves social production efficiency. Since 2019, Do has started to deploy 5G network to provide high quality 5G network services for customers. In addition, we are focused in promoting the construction of cloud data centers. Although 5G and cloud services are uh, profitable, they are being great challenges and exist in, in the existing network. For example, there are huge bandwidth requirements and large number of connections uh, comparing, to, comparing to services imposed uh, strict requirements on SLA assurance. OM becomes more complex, uh, migrating services uh, to uh, cloud breaks the traditional services security boundaries, making network security more important. The UAE is also accelerating 
the construction of IPv6 network. The 2021 uh, UBBF, uh, his, his Excellency, Engineer uh, Majid Sultan Al Mismar, uh, Director General of the UAE Telecommunication and Digital Government Regulatory Authority, said three years ago the number of IPv6 users in the UAE was almost zero. UAE released the IPv6 strategy and compared with international organizations to enable uh, government and enterprise to encourage the use of IPv6. Now, the number of IPv6 users account for 40 percent of the total number of internet users leading the world. SRV6 is an important innovation in the development of internet. Technology uh, can meet the development requirements of 5G and cloud services. SRV6 uses the, exten the, the extension header of the IPv6 address space to carry more network services information. Like routing, uh, for example, routing information, better satisfying the requirements of new services development. Uh, Do and Huawei cooperated. Well, Huawei took the lead uh, in the IPv6 SRV6 development and made the summary. Do deployed agreement with Huawei uh, IPv6 SRV6 uh, implement development and preface Huawei uh, SRV6 book. And the book is important, actually, specifically the translation, uh, which is to translate English version to the Arabic version, and it is important for the Arabic Arabic speaking people. Stephen, please tell us the significance of releasing this book. Uh, first of all, I will thank Ms. Salim uh, for writing a forward for this book and uh, giving some valuable advice in developing this book. Currently, our industry are undergoing digital transformation, which brings great challenges to IP network. SRV6 network programming can greatly improve network resource scheduling and enable faster service provisioning. SRV6 network programming is an important basis for transport network in the cloud era. Huawei and Do jointly released this book, SRV6 Network Programming, ensuring in a new era of IP. This book comprehensively and uh, systematically describes SRV6 innovations. It also combines the theoretically research with uh, practice, such as the network design and uh, deployment. We believe that this book will play an important role in promoting the innovation and the development of SRV6. Expect that the release of this book will promote the development out of the local ICT talent ecosystem. This is the training more excited ICT talent with much knowledge, high technical skills, and uh, innovative capabilities. Huawei has built an end-to-end intelligent cloud network solution based on innovative IPv6 enhanced technologies. Help customer upgrade their network infrastructure. So together, let's promote digital transformation of the society and achieve win together uh, in the new era of intelligent cloud network. Well, thank you very much to you both for this update on what is obviously a very important collaboration and particularly the publication of this book. Thank you very much to you both. Thank you. Thank you.